Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. Now, as we all know, prohibition was this period of time where in America, drinking was illegal. Uh, there was a certain individual who was part of the Anti-Saloon League who really wanted to take upon himself to remind people how bad drinking was. And he felt the best way to do this was to invent a new word, a term to refer to that that lawless drinker, that person that was going out and drinking even though it was illegal. Uh, he held this contest and the winner of the contest specified the word scofflaw as the term for this lawless drinker. Well, as you might guess, less than a week later, Harry's Bar in Paris created a drink called the scofflaw and that's probably the most famous way that word is ever used today as for that cocktail, even though you probably don't see that cocktail very often. Now, being a drink made during Prohibition, it couldn't use American whiskey because American whiskey was illegal. So instead, they turned to Canada for their whiskey ingredient for making the Scofflaw cocktail. And so we're going to turn to Canadian Club Whiskey for making this drink. It's made simply by adding one ounce of Canadian whiskey. Like I said, we're using a Canadian Club in this case one ounce of French vermouth, I assume since Harry's Bar is in Paris they decided to use a French ingredient there, a dash of grenadine, oh, dash goes in here, a quarter ounce of lemon juice, and a dash of orange bitters. And we'll add the ice. and strain into a cocktail glass. And garnish with an orange twist. And there we have the Scofflaw Cocktail, the best way to celebrate that we're no longer in Prohibition.